Houdini is an incredible simulation tool, but for visual effects work, the sim is only half the battle. It's no good having a beautiful and detailed simulation if it's let down by poor rendering, or if it won't render fast enough to let you and your supervisors iterate on the look. This course is an introduction to Houdini's Mantra Renderer, with a focus on how to render effects work efficiently. We start at the very beginning, how to organize your scene, add lights, and submit a render. We work through Houdini's many different types of lights, exploring the differences between them. Next, you'll learn how to construct shaders from the ground up, starting with a simple constant shader, and working through examples of increasing complexity. We then cover the often neglected theory and practice of motion blur in some detail, as this is too crucial a topic for effects work to be treated as an afterthought. I dive into a practical illustration of the path tracing process, illustrated with a simple renderer able to generate rays in the viewport, so that you have an insight into how Houdini's PBR engine works. We talk about packed workflows in Houdini, why these are important in rendering large-scale effect sims, and we demystify the various types of packed primitive available. Our particle class continues this theme, instancing packed objects to particles and shading them so they match with the rest of our scene. We then add a dust sim to the mix, learn about optimizing volumes for rendering and how to sample them correctly. When working on a real production, it's important to be able to supply additional image planes to the comp department, and often deep data as well, so we cover the steps needed to set these things up. Finally, we round out the course with a look at LOPS, Houdini's new USD-oriented lighting context, and Karma, its brand new renderer. I'm Niall Flynn, and I hope this course helps you to take your Houdini rendering to the next level.